Well, good morning. Welcome back to another very boring episode of Clayton Chick Outdoors. I, just like you guys, are in self quarantine. End of days is near. No, I'm kidding. I think the media is blowing a little bit thing, a little bit out of a pr proportion, of course. They only give you the bad news. It is, of course, something we need to take in concern. Wash your hands. Stock up on toilet paper, apparently. No. Anyways, lake trout fishing. As you can probably see by the thumbnail, it's cold today. Truck red, like minus 31 or something like that. It's it, it, it's cold. Like, but we're going to fish out of the otter. Got it right here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to show any of the setup because it's whipping cold and I don't want to pull my main camera out. I just want to get the shack up, get holes drilled, and yeah, lake trout fishing my favorite well I'm uh, finally set up cameras are rolling I got one two three and then the flasher cam it says it's 938 but it's actually only 838 so I'm not doing too bad for time starting in 32 feet of water I am not gonna lie vlogging up here but I'm not gonna lie I have a lot of time to lake trout fish here and that's all you'll probably see for videos from now to the end for ice fishing i'm gonna put in like a pile of time for lake trout i promised everybody lake trout fishing and we are going to finish off the season strong with lake trout fishing so so all the videos are coming i'm gonna have some slow days i'm gonna have some awesome days but uh i don't know how many videos i'm gonna get done for sure but i'm excited so let's do it. I'm excited to get my glasses on too. My girlfriend says, good luck, babe. Well, that's awesome. I'm using my in reach to text right now, which is pretty cool. Yeah, we're dropping down. We're dropping down. Love it. I'm gonna have days where I'm obviously gonna bring out the underwater camera. Today, it's just so cold and the weather is supposed to get a little bit nicer from what I can tell. So I decided just to kind of leave the underwater camera at home today. A little bit less to haul around in case I want to move around a little bit too. And then uh, hope if I find some hot areas I can kind of camp out. At the moment, with how cold it is, I don't even really want to move. Even right now, to be honest. <laughs> I kind of like now that I'm finally set up and fishing, I might just stay in one spot all day. And just try a bunch of different spots over my period i'm not not sure but i'm quarantining myself end of days end of days i didn't bring my big underwater camera today but i did bring a little aqua view just want to drop down and see what kind of structure i got what the water clarity is like just a bunch of you know my tube I have it at 14 feet at the moment oh there's my tube oh she's white tube look how much it like glows wow oh look at that there's a little trout down there Small. Look at that little guy down there. Jeez, he just grabbed it. He just totally moved it. I like my bottom. Looks like I got a little bit of a sand rock transition, I think. I would think so, yeah. There's definitely a little trout down there. I wasn't marking anything. Dropped the camera down. Yeah, little guy. I got a little guy pecking at me down there. There we go. Oh, little guy. Tiny. Oh, comes another one though. Oh, 
hitting. I've got two fish down there right now, maybe three. Come on. There we go. Small though. I don't know if I'll keep them pinned because I got a pretty, pretty big hook for a tiny little trout. I'm not, maybe it's not super tiny, but it's definitely not. It's not big. Oh. It's probably some of the size of the fish that I saw kind of swimming down there on the underwater camera. But a fish is a fish. A fish is a fish. Come on, come on. Okay, okay. Easy, 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 easy. I got a little bit bigger hole. Then... Okay, 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 okay. That fish has got a lot of energy. A lot of energy. Come on, easy. I'm gonna pop the hook and then show it off to the camera. Okay, I'm gonna give him a little dip here. Get all that snow and ice off of him. First fish, nothing crazy, but a uh, nice start to the the day, right? Had like a couple marks come in there, and then okay, I gotta put them lower in the hole before I drop them next time. A couple marks come in there, and then that one, that one hit me. Had a couple other uh, fish kind of peck at a little bit too, but with using a tube jig like that with just one bigger hook in it sometimes you uh don't catch the smaller fish which i'm okay with it's always fun when people send you stuff in a in the mail try out sometimes i get a chance to try it sometimes i don't this was this little creation here it's got a bunch of different flash in it here a dragon tail uh i'm not sure what kind of material that is but it uh, was tied by oh i'm gonna mess this up but cougar cougar bait something like that i'll put all the information here we're gonna try it a little bit though see what it's like Ooh, actually looks really good oh wow okay well that didn't take long with the with the new bait <laughs> like i just got it down there like literally a few minutes ago mark shot in and nailed me that was awesome. Doesn't feel doesn't feel substantial, but it's definitely a fish. You notice I got a hole a little bit bigger than like a 10 inch or oh that's it's to go a little bit now. Come on. Like I said, I got a little bit of a hole a little bit bigger than a 10. I kind of reamed it out a little bit here. Nice. That's what I came for. That's what I came for. Using a frostbite rod, Mr. Big. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, come on. It's not it's not that big, but it's fighting very well. That mark honestly like came out of nowhere and it like it, it hit me like instantly. I kind of felt it even before I I marked it really. I should say, not felt it before I marked it. Felt it before I saw the mark. Well, that scoop didn't work very well. Come on, come on. Nice fish, that's a nice fish. What a giant, but it's nice. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes, that's a nice one. It's not a, not a monster, but definitely bigger than the first one. That's a good one right there, yes. Okay. Beautiful fish, low 30 incher, maybe like a 31, 32 ish, something like that. It's awesome. I do have the bump board with me. I plan to measure some fish today at some point. And yeah, one more little peek. And back down she'll go. That mark just flew in and pounded me. Okay, nice, winning. Yeah, well, your bait works, dude. It uh, looks weird right now out of the water, but uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. I literally had it down there for a matter of two minutes, like not even. So that's good. I will put that, a link to the this cougar bait in my description below in this video. So you can contact them and purchase some if you would like. I, <laughs> I always get baits in the mail and it's like some, some of them will make it on the video, some of them don't, right? Like it just all, it all depends. Now, 
it is pretty cool that I caught a fish within literally like two minutes of using that bait. So that's definitely encouraging. That makes me want to keep using it. Like I was using a white tube jig for quite a while and never really had even a lot of marks. So this is good. This is good. It's like a, yeah, like a 30, 31 incher maybe that fish was, something like that. You know what, I'm gonna pull this bump board out and put it here just to have it ready, just in case. I get a lot of people ask me where I got my bump board from. It's from Muskie Bumper. Muskiebumper.com. My wonderful girlfriend bought it for me actually. Pretty good girlfriend buys you fishing gifts, right? It's a good girlfriend. Oh, here we go. Here we go, come on. Here we go, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you. Come on, I'm gonna try some fast. Let's get him going here, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> that one just wanted it <laughs> really aggressive and fast. Oh, he is freaking, he's freaking. I feel like when you lose lake trout, it's either in the first few, first few feet of after hooking him or at the hole. Unfortunately for me, both of those are in the same situation right now. Oh, he's not, he's not very big. He's a little guy. <laughs> I, I never really thought he was that big from the mark, but oh boy, that was awesome. That was awesome. Come here, come here. That hole is a little bit too big for you, buddy, but that's okay. Come here, come here. Okay, there we go. Nice fish. Nice fish, still using that bait there from Cougar Baits that, I don't even know what it is, some kind of hair jig basically. Oh, that was awesome, that was awesome. Just, uh, I don't know, like a 27, 28 inch or something like that. Nice fish, but we will put you back. We will put you back, okay. That hole is like just like a little bit too big for the smaller fish, but I know when I get a bigger one that I'm gonna be happy I have that big a hole to get it started up the hole and everything. A little bit slower uh, for a little while. It is one o'clock right now, so it's been about two hours almost, maybe an hour and 45 minutes since I had some action before. That mark appeared out of nowhere again, just kind of charged in and then never really hit it at all to start with and I kind of worked it up slowly and then i got more aggressive and when i started getting really aggressive you could tell the mark was going faster up and down you know trying to chase around all of a sudden bang lake trout you always got to try to change it up you never know what's going to happen sometimes they want it still moving sometimes they want it ripping quick i guess that's kind of any fish in that mean but yeah bam well a little midday update three o'clock got three fish that wasn't planned i promise i get asked a lot of times uh, in my comments, what types of lights I'm running in my shack. You can see it's quite bright, which is amazing for filming. And I know a lot of you guys want to kind of film your own adventures too. So I'm running Otter LED lights. Uh, I'll put uh, a link in the description below of where to get them. Plus uh, a little, I'll flash a little picture here as well, probably. But I have four of them. So there's two and then here, three, four. And I'm running that off of Dakota power pack down there. Pretty handy. You wouldn't have to use your Dakota power pack like in terms of that much battery. But I also use that to charge my phone, charge any other batteries, whatever I have to do type of thing throughout the day. I love having all that power source. I have another one there too. There that that's running the two GoPros. So then for my all my setup, I got GoPro there, GoPro there and a GoPro there, and then of course the main camera there, which is a Canon XA20 that captures all of the main shots, basically. Hero shots type of thing that captures 
it's my best my best camera obviously and then i'm i did something different this time instead of a tripod it takes up so much room i've got uh, a bucket good old cane tire bucket there with an easy cam post there fill of snow and of course that's what's going on in this one too takes up a little bit a little less room i should say running the buddy heater in the back this time uh just to give myself a little bit more space in here i think uh probably continue to do that it's actually pretty good besides the fact that your feet get a little cold but it's minus 18 today so it's chilly and i'm not bad at all and i've noticed my whole icing up at times i got to keep clearing it so that's the one thing here you got to be careful too you don't melt anything of course right with the heater right there but i've been enjoying it yeah midday update I haven't really talked about a lot about like in terms of what i'm fishing in terms of structure wise but I'm in uh, 31 and a half feet here. I've got some deep water off to uh, my north here. And basically just waiting for lake trout to kind of cruise through here. I dropped the little underwater camera down as you probably saw earlier in the video. And I've got some nice little cobblestones down there, which is a really good spot, I would assume, for them to spawn in the fall time. So yeah, might have to get the boat out here one day and check that out in the fall too. Life's good, it's fun. Hope you guys are all having a a good time at home. I know times are tough, right? Coronavirus is uh, definitely something to be concerned about. Like I said, the media is blowing it a little bit out of a, a little bit out of proportion, but it's still something to be definitely concerned about. Be safe. Obviously, there's lots of concerns for everybody, right? Hopefully, uh, hopefully everything works out. Hopefully everything works out. Back to the action. Don't forget to keep your hooks nice and sharp. Remember I showed you earlier I was fishing over a bunch of rocks. It's unavoidable when you pound the bottom a little bit that you're eventually going to run into dulling your hook a little bit. You don't want to you don't want to miss the fish of the day by having a doll hook. Come on. Oh, wow. Wow. That fish hammered me. It's pretty good too, I think. Oh, come on, Drake, let's go. Oh, 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 did you see my rod? Like just instantly double? It stopped me in my tracks. This one definitely feels pretty good. Not, not giant, I don't think, but. This is probably my biggest of the day, I'd say. <laughs> that thing just stopped me right in my tracks. That was insane. Like, <laughs> I've had some, I was feeling smaller now. Come on, GoPro. I'm trying to get my GoPro turned here. It's not wanting to turn. It's not feeling as big anymore. It just, it just crushed it and went back down, I think. I don't think it's that big after all. <laughs> it just felt, it just felt good. Oh, I got it in its tail. Okay, well, I wonder if it like hit it and it slid down his body. Okay, well, I found a new way to, to uh, catch lake trout. Catch them in their tail. Oh, easy, easy. He's, <laughs> no wonder he ran down so hard. Yeah, snagged him, snagged him. <laughs> okay, okay, girl, boy, whatever. Easy, easy, easy. That's so much energy. Using a pretty good rod, pretty heavy rod for some of the smaller fish. They have so much, so much strength left by the time gonna do a tail hole but I can't get it under control so we'll do that nice fish not not a monster I know I say that lots not a monster but it's not just a nice nice lake trout <laughs> I thought it crushed me but obviously when I jigged it and I thought it hit me I must have just caught its tail as it was coming by the lure and yeah sharp hooks though right like what kind of that hook's got to be super sharp for it to penetrate the tail like that and stay in. 
It explains why I felt like a bigger fish at first and then absolutely nothing. I'll catch him any way I can, right? Well, you know what? It's gonna wrap up my day on the ice today. Nothing crazy. I caught one decent fish, like a 31 to 33 inch lake or something like that. A couple smaller guys. All in all, it was a pretty good day. Never marked a lot of fish. I've had days where I haven't caught a laker all day or even seen a laker. Heck, I think I've gone like two days even before once, before I even caught a fish. So I'll take today as a, a W, a win. I got lots of time left to try to hunt a big laker. And like I said, there's gonna be a lot of lake trout videos probably from now to the end of the ice fishing season. I'm hoping so anyway. So we shall see what everything brings. Stay safe out there everybody and uh as always thanks for watching and uh get outside actually just wait we're quarantined right now well we're not technically quarantined maybe for the next couple weeks or months just stay inside no just stay out of the cities and all the places get outside into nature nature doesn't have whatever they call it right now the old corona you'll be safe so yeah get outside